Hello everyone, Richard Plumdog here. So uh, I'm out at a property in Harrisdale in Western Australia uh, for various plumbing tasks and one of them is wet carpets and wet walls in a bedroom uh, which is adjacent or behind a shower. So um, enjoy the video. I'll follow, let you uh, follow the steps that I take to rectify the issue. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you're notified each time we upload a video. Alrighty, so here we are in the shower, in the ensuite, and the opposite side of that wall is the master bedroom. And as you can see, there's a, a watermark line there in the carpet. So water's been leaking in that shower for quite some time. Just showing here a few cracks in the paint and plaster. So back into the shower there. So the shower rose is chrome and the taps are black. So made me think that those taps have been put in like differently, separately recently. So I'm just disattaching the, the tap handle now. You see the first shroud is not even attaching to the spindle, so something odd is going on there. So that hasn't been installed correctly. That's on the hot. So now on the cold, take the handle off this one. fits one doesn't so if we have a closer look you can actually see that there's different spindles being installed there god knows how so you can see the the bottom one is longer and the top one is shorter turn the tap on here on the cold tap can't help but laugh and there's water pouring out of there so for quite some time, since someone's played around in there, there's a lot of water leaking. So what I'm doing here is I'm reseating the in-wall set. So we see the replace taps we reseat. And if I take the reseat out now, you can see that the, the set inside the wall is nice and shiny now. Whereas it was dark used before so both spindles have been reseated now I'm outside turning the water back on and flushing through water so water would have been gushing out of the wall when I was outside and what that does is it allows all of the filings from reseating to uh, to actually come out so they're just laying on the floor now so in this instance, those taps, I've seen their day, they haven't been installed correctly, so I'm replacing the tap sets. So there's two new spindles going in there with new washers on top of the new reseated sets. Disattaching the shower rows there. Turn the water back on and then flush it through any remaining debris just so that there's no filings actually stuck into the tap washer itself. If there was, then the shower would still drip. So both taps are off now. I just run my finger across there just to make sure there's no more drips. Okay, now I've attached our pressure gauge. So I'm turning on one tap to pressurize that and back off. Turn the other tap on to pressurize and back off. And so what we've got now is full pressure through to that gauge of which we're recording of just over 500 kPa. And there were no more leaks. So that was done. Just testing that there were no leaks on the shower breach there. So next I'm siliconing around the spindles. Use a little bit of uh, a 
soapy water, which helps us wipe silicon away. So now it's nice and watertight behind the spindle. Now the reason for doing that is when the shower's on and the water drips behind the shroud, it can't get past the spindle and into the wall. So this prevents any future leakage in the wall as well from just general everyday use. So tap handles tightened on, all looking good. Job done. Hey, where are you going?